there was always speculation that North Korea hadn't really halted their missile or nuclear development. So how badly does this new report undercut President Trump's claims that he's actually making progress on denuclearization? Well, it appears to undercut it fairly significantly. It appears that this might be a new strategy uh, by North Korea on their nuclear program rather than uh, a, a, you know, what we thought or the, certainly the Trump administration had said were steps toward denuclearization. The report from the Center for Strategic and International Studies in Washington uh, says that these sites were not necessarily developed as launch sites, but they can be used for that both for short-range missiles as well as ICBMs. Uh, so, and any steps obviously toward real denuclearization would mean these would have to be dismantled as well. It appears some other sites were dismantled or in the process of being dismantled, but these were cropping up at the same time. Joda, does this change anything when it comes to sanctions? Well, it certainly could. And interestingly, this report comes as uh, steps between, talks between the U.S. and North Korea have been stalled. There were supposed to have been some talks in Washington involving uh, U.S. Secretary of State, or in New York, involving uh, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and a top negotiator from North Korea, but those were canceled at the last minute. President Trump uh, basically said it, chalked it up to a uh, scheduling conflict, and uh, he says that the they are still in talks and that they want to try to make progress. But there's real concern on Capitol Hill uh, that this could be yet another, uh, basically, attempt by the North Koreans to come up with a new strategy for nuclearization rather than moving toward denuclearization. We've heard from a number of people on Capitol Hill, mostly Democrats, but some Republicans as well, saying that they're very concerned about this latest report and that they're very concerned that the steps that they thought might be happening are not necessarily happening. So we have to see on sanctions, but this could be a game changer. Yeah, Jody, you know, the trade war is clearly paramount on the agenda, but as Mike Pence uh, does his trip around Asia for the APEC summit in particular, this is likely to come up as well in discussions. Certainly, and I, I, I'm glad you mentioned that, that these, uh, at this very time, we're seeing a couple of very important meetings in Asia uh, among the allies here, and uh, certainly uh, what is happening in North Korea um, is very likely to come up. Uh, how Mike Pence deals with this, of course, he's at these meetings, not President Trump. Uh, how he responds to this will be very interesting, and uh, we'll, have to, we'll have to really look at those comments for clues as to whether the administration, how seriously Seriously, the administration takes this report and whether they intend to uh, make any changes in their policy as a result.